Last week, we uh, told you about Tom Reed and Martha Robertson's fight for the New York's 23rd District congressional seat. That's right. The race is making headlines, not just here in our area, but across the country for the pictures Robertson is using in her ads. WNY Washington correspondent Lauren Adams has a story. Election day is just two months away, and the race in New York's 23rd Congressional District is heating up. But it's not the issues facing the district that are getting national attention. It's the TV campaign ads that are dominating the debate. He responded by saying that you're using old pictures of him when he was heavier. Congressman Tom Reed says his opponent has crossed the line by using old and unflattering photos of him. It's made headlines on both local and national news stations. Democratic congressional candidate Martha Robertson's decision to use pictures like these of Tom Reed. Tom Reed has gone to bat for everyone but us. Showing him before he lost more than 100 pounds after having gastric bypass surgery last year. The ads appear on TV and online, and they're bringing national attention to the congressional race. Plus, Reed has released ads of his own calling Robertson an extreme Ithaca liberal. Martha Robertson's extreme Ithaca liberal agenda is double trouble. We caught up with Reed and Robertson in their home district to hear what they had to say about the pictures. It's really interesting to me that of everything that's in our ads and our commercials, he's focused on the pictures. I guess that means he has no argument with the fact that we've said He's, rated, he's raising middle class taxes, that he's shipping jobs overseas, that he's cutting uh, Social Security and Medicare benefits. I guess that we agree on that. As my opponent, it goes down uh, the path of personal destruction and, and that type of thing. And we've seen it in other campaigns across the country. You know, I'm, I'm just going to put our record out there and stand in front of the people. The race is expected to stay heated right up until Election Day on November 4th. Reporting in Washington, Lauren Adams, WENY News.